Ramsey, Holger, well done today. Thank you. Diego's always tough, regardless of where you play him, but you were very clean today. Seven aces, four for four break points. The Miami conditions, the court seem to be treating you well. They are, they are. It's uh, pretty fast out there. and uh, It was a hot day today, but I think I handled everything very good. Played aggressive, played on my game plan, and uh, succeeded very well. You know, it's, it's wild. You're still, you're still so young, 19 years old. You've already won Paris. What are the aspects of your game you're, you're most uh, focused on improving at the moment? Um, you know, I think I'm, I'm trying to improve everything, but if I have to choose one thing, it's probably, you know, to stay composed in every moment. Um, I think today was, was tough. It was uh, conditions were maybe a bit more for him. It was, he's Argentine, he's used to this weather. But again, I just try to stay focused, stay on my game plan, not let anything distract me. And when I'm like this, I play the best. So that's what I'm trying to focus on. You know, last time you had a chat on the TC desk at a 1000, it was in Paris. Yeah. That worked out pretty well for you yeah, over there. Not the worst memory, for sure. <laughs> we have to make this a trip. Tradition, man. <laughs> 100%. Listen, listen, you're, you're always welcome. And it's been fun getting to know you as well. It seems like you love other sports also. You took in a Miami Heat game here. That must have been quite an experience. I did. It was a great experience. And, you know, especially the crowd is unbelievable how they, you know, play yeah. music while they're playing. I actually didn't know they did that. So for sure, it could be fun one day to see that in tennis as well. Um, there are a lot of other fierce competitors out on the tour. We know you're a fierce competitor. Another one of them. Nick Kyrgios is a massive fan of yours. He's, he puts you up on his social media and stuff all the time. What's your relationship like with Nick? It's good and it's uh, actually a fun story because I was the one at the beginning reaching out to him and asking him for, for some advice. Uh, I was playing some players on, on the future tour and he was very, very nice to you know, help me out with the tactics and, and very polite. And I was just like, okay, I'll give it a chance, try to text him and he replied back. So. It was great, and, and since then we've had a great relationship. I respect him a lot. He's a hell of a player, and uh, he's a good friend of mine. And you guys, you guys are doing a little business together too. You guys have an exhibition coming up in uh, in Copenhagen. Is that right, on clay? Yeah, we have. Uh, it's actually going to be on hard court, I think, but okay. it's going to be in uh, in May, the week before French Open. Super excited! Uh, it's almost already sold out, so it's going to wow. be great. Um, and I'm I'm so happy he's uh, coming to Denmark. It's uh, going to be a great match, I think. Well, I, I don't think the brother's playing any uh, clay court events before the French Open, so you might be his only preparation for Roland yeah. Garros. Yeah, I'm going to try to make it a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're taking a look at Taylor Fritz here. Uh, he, he's up a set in a break right now. Yeah. He, he looks like he's, he's feeling good to be able to come through. Your thoughts on, on possibly taking on the number one American? Yeah, for sure, a tough match. Uh, me and uh, Fritz has practiced together a lot of time, but it's going to be our first meeting. He's uh, in a great shape. He played good last week as well and uh, good here. It's, it's his home, so I can only expect a, a tough match. But again, I'm feeling good as well. It's, uh, it's an exciting match and uh, now I'm just going to recover and, and try to be ready. Well, I know you're going to love the crowd. You're going to love the challenge. So we're going to wish you very best of luck. Thank you. Jim, Mark, 